Good afternoon students this is Arindam Bag here and today our topic is round of baskervilles yesterday i uh, tried to give you a brief introduction about the biography about the brief life of uh, arthur conan doyle i tried to give you some sort of information about him so uh, let's uh, move to our topic today uh, to the detective fiction the round of baskervilles now there is a character a map actually it's a very brief one i have so many ca other characters also the main characters are uh, mentioned over here you can see that uh, uh, the baskerville lineage uh, it starts from hugo baskerville right from here this character then this and the finally this one these three characters they are connected to each other according to their family now these two characters doesn't exist anymore it is only the character of henry baskerville who is living right at the moment when the story starts now we have a common friend over here that is james mortima he is known to uh, sherlock holmes and also known to henry baskerville henry baskerville uh, is actually uh, he arrived from usa he doesn't stay at england rather he was actually staying at usa after the death of charles baskerville he moved to uk or rather england to take over the property now we have one friend of uh, sherlock holmes uh, that is dr j watson rather uh, dr watson instead of mentioning john h watson it is dr watson and uh, every story uh, needs a villain now here we have a villain jack stapleton and uh, uh, he he had a sister beryl stapleton and he happens to be look it appears he is an, he is a naturalist it appears he is uh, after the butterflies he looks after the you know mm, the nature around uh, around the moors where uh, the baskerville estate is there but actually he is the villain of this story pardon my handwriting i am not using any uh, s pen or things like that i am writing it with my finger so that's why it's odd here we have uh, we have a serial killer also he is uh, just a, you know he is not connected to anyone but yes he is connected to mrs barrymore uh how he is connected he is a killer actually he is uh, he broke out the prison and mrs barrymore is uh, his sister actually so mr and mrs barrymore they are actually maintaining the baskerville uh, estate so these are the main characters we are having here now let us move to the next slide and Uh, from the next slide onwards we will try to understand that what are the other or rather the details of the character so we have sherlock holmes as usual the novel's protagonist he is the main character and obviously the detective will be the um, protagonist or the main character of any uh, fiction uh, detective fiction holmes is framed as 221 b baker street this address even till date people send letter to this Uh, street address baker street you know he has a key nine hawk nose trademark hat and pipe even in the novel also the novel i had the collection i had it was a bengali translation actually the I, i still remember the front page there was a you know black silhouette where a person wearing a hat and a typical pipe in his you know hand so homsip's observation and intuition personified and though he takes a bit uh, of back seat to watson in this story he always feel is present actually he was always present he was in disguise he took a disguise of the gypsy i hope you have seen that um, youtube uh, youtube movie actually i i give you the link yesterday uh, if you watch that one you will realize that how uh, good he is at uh, disguise so he was actually uh, dis he disguised himself as a um, as a gypsy who can tell the fortune so what's in uh, in in this story we always feel his presence he takes its it takes his legendary powers to decipher the mystifying threads of the case yes obviously 
next we have that character of dr watson i told you that she so dr watson was the assistant or rather he was a good friend of the good detective uh, uh, sherlock holmes the novel's other protagonist and narrator so dr watson is the stout sidekick yes the, I, i was i do not want to use that word sidekick but here it is actually is a sidekick to holmes and long time chronicler of the detective's adventure he is quite familiar with all the cases which ever uh, holmes uh, already uh, investigated successfully in hound watson tries his hand at holmes game expressing his eagerness to please and impress the master by solving such a baffling case as sidekick and apprentice to holmes watson acts as a foil for Holmes genius and as a stand-in for us, the Ostrog audience. I told you yesterday presentation also that uh, Doctor Watson is a kind of complement. is its kind its balance balancing character, uh, which is you know uh, acts as a foil. Like we have a character like you know Banco, which is a foil to Bank Macbeth. So this one also uh, Sir Henry Baskerville, uh, the young person who just arrived from United States. to inherit her, his property so the late sir charles nephew and the closest living relative that's why he is getting all the property now sir henry is hale and hearty described as a small uh, alert dark eyed man about 30 years of age young very very sturdily built by the end of the story henry is an worn out and shell shocked and his late uncle was before his death so uh, the story will evolve around this particular character the the murders the incidents whatever took place it will be revolving around henry baskerville even he will also be attacked in this story so it is uh, the responsibility or rather um, salocums and watson will save him from any misery or any sort of attack so uh, then we have charles baskerville is the person who died recently uh, whose property is inherited by henry uh, baskerville the head of the baskerville estate sir charles was a superstitious man terrified of the baskerville cars there was a cars and his waning health at the time of his death so he was died out of heart attack it is said but uh, actually there was a hound which appeared before him and uh, he died out of heart attack sir charles was also a well known philanthropist and his plans to invest in the region surrounding his estate make it essential that sir henry uh, move to baskerville hall to continue his uncle's good works so it was the good works of charles uh, baskerville which which will be continued or rather uh Sir henry baskerville wants to continue so then we have hugo baskerville a divancherous and shadowy baskerville ancestor he was you know ancestor of the baskerville family sergo is the picture of aristocratic excess drinking parsing pleasures of the flesh until it killed him you know there was a time uh, with uh, there was a time he was uncontrollable he died already he is a uh, previous ancestor of the baskerville family and he had a very bad reputation he uh, was uh, pursuing pleasures of the flesh until it killed him so another friend is mortimer mortimer is a friend and doctor to the baskervilles and mortimer is a tall thin man uh, he had a dog with him when he arrived uh, the moor uh, but later on it was found dead so who dressed sloppily but in an around nice guy and the executor of charles estate mortimer is also a phrenology enthusiast and he wishes and hopes to some day the opportunity to study homes head so his way he is common to um uh, sherlock holmes and uh, henry baskervilles uh, then we have the villain who who looks like a very simple man but apparently he is a very you know his mind uh, is very typical and a very dangerous person uh, mr jack stapleton he looks like a naturalist he is after the butterflies looking for the butterflies and he enjoys the nature around him a thin and bookish looking entomologist and one time schoolmaster stapleton chases butterflies and reveals a short temper only at key moment uh, at there will be a moment where um, uh, he will find his sister with uh, henry baskervilles and he was uh, very much angry with it so the moment the way he show his short temper that is amazing and uh, later on it will be find that he is actually the villain of this particular fiction a calm faced mask at the scheming manipulative villain that homes and watson come to respect and fear then we have miss stapleton the sister of mr stapleton allegedly stapleton sister is this dusky latin beauty turns out to be his wife so this is a twist we have in the story so every detective fiction has a twist and uh, there will be a ton of events so here also we will find that uh, uh, miss stapleton who is presented before all the world that uh, is she is actually the sister of mr stapleton actually she is the wife of mr stapleton 
uh, now you you may easily assume why why mr stapleton was so furious when he found that uh, henry uh, henry baskerville and miss stapleton they are close standing each, each other and kissing each other actually if you see the movie you will find it eager eager to fire, prevent another death but terrified of her husband she provides enigmatic warnings to sir henry and watson the moment uh, sir henry um, reached england uh, there was a there was an a warning there was a warning that uh, you you should stay away from the moor you should not come to the baskerville estate because um, uh, you may be killed for that that message was sent by uh, uh, miss templeton and it was sent in a strange way um, all the words were actually collected from newspaper the words were uh, uh, cut it out from uh, the newspapers new york times i guess and uh, only the word moor is written because the moor the word moor can, she, she can't find the word moor in a newspaper so henry watson and then we have sir john barrymore and miss elijah barrymore these two uh, characters they are actually living on the uh, baskerville estate and taking care of the domestic uh, help actually there they are taking care of the baskerville uh, property and the clan also honest and eager to please the portly mrs barrymore and her got husband figure as a kind of red herring for the detectives in league with their convict brother but ultimately no more suspicions than henry said henry so they have a secret also so uh, there 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 is a convict who escaped the prison and he uh, he took shelter in the moon so it was uh, miss john barrymore and mrs eliza barrymore who was actually helping um uh, this convict person his name is selden is actually related to miss uh, mrs elizabeth eliza barrymore and he is the brother of eliza barrymore so they were providing food and other um, other things so that he can live in the moon uh, secretly the police scotland year is is after him but to avoid scotland year um, there uh, he is hiding in the moon and um, uh, there there's been a signal a signal using using candles candle lights they were signaling each other when to uh, come for food when to uh, when it is safe to collect other clothes and other things so uh, then we have the character of laura loins laura loins is a basically a wife of mr loins mr loins is an artist and uh, is a very good at observation but poor in expression so it is said by laura loins actually a local young man a lo- woman Laura Loins uh, is the beautiful brunette daughter of Franklin and the Crank, the local li- uh, litigator who disowned her when she married against his will. She, she married Mr. Loins. Uh, his character is not mentioned over here, but you will find the character uh, in the in the uh, movie also. You will find he is a strongly built character uh, with a with a strong physique and he has a he had a black beard and he was charged with the murder of Laura Loins later on, but. Uh, he he didn't committed that murder it was he was accused and he was arrested john sherlock holmes knew about it but uh, for for the sake of the case uh, and to protect uh, all the things he didn't uh, mention about it so uh, subsequently um, she married against his will subsequent abandoned by her husband the credulous laura turns to mr stapleton and uh, charles for help so you know uh, somehow out of uh, passion or out of love Uh, she married this um, painter mr loins but uh, later on uh, she finds that uh, he is not a good husband and he is uh, he regularly tortures her or uh, try to oppress her so for help uh, she look forward to mrs step mr mr stapleton and then to charles uh, um, baskerville so uh, they they had an affair romantic relationship between charles and uh, laura which was you know mediated by mr stapleton and uh, mr stapleton took this advantage the convict the murderous villain whose crime his name is selden you can find it in the chart also the convict is nonetheless humanized by his association with barrymore he has a rotten like haggardly appearance he will be killed by the um, uh, hound itself at that time the hound was you know the had some sort of um, uh, color or uh, some some sort of phosphorus on on it so it looks like the hound was glowing and uh, the convict was afraid of it and uh, he suddenly came to a cliff and the hound jumped on it and he fell from the cliff and died and scotland ward uh, yard was looking after him but they didn't find him he was a rotten like haggardly appearance his only wish to is to flee his uh, prosecutors in devonshire and escape to south america so uh, this is the convict who we, we found here 
so then we have mr franklin he is laura's father franklin is a man who likes to sue a sort of comic relief with a chip on his shoulder about every infringement on what he sees as his rights villainized due to his one time harsh treatment of laura franklin is for uh, the most part a laughable gesture to the context of the story so uh, that will that that's the, all for you uh, that's most of the important characters i mentioned about apart from this we have the inspector of scotland yard uh, that is also he he played some role also some minor characters are also there that that's, that's not important thank you for watching this video i hope uh, you like my channel like please like share and subscribe my channel and help my channel to grow thank you again